Hi all, welcome to Voice Cart. Today, what we're gonna learn is about Cisco IP phone boot up process. The term boot up, uh, basically, uh, the word boot up means, if I generally talk about uh, boot up, is to start a system by providing it with the required, you know, power and uh, loading the startup services until the operating system is loaded. It refers to the process of starting a device from uh, either it is dead or is in offline state thus making it available to the perform or uh, you know any computing or any operations uh, this is uh, you know uh, the term boot up means so uh, today uh, we'll we'll see which and how many steps are there uh, when a cisco ip phone starts booting up so there are you know six steps uh, the first one is about power the second one is about firmware loading third one is about voice vlan fourth one is about taking the ip address and uh, then obtaining its configuration file then last step is uh, it will get registered with uh, cucm that is known as call manager cisco unified call manager so we'll discuss about these steps in details uh, and let's start our video. Uh, the first step is about, I mentioned you about power. As soon as we plug uh, the device or the IP phone to switch port, then uh, the first thing, uh, you know, Cisco Catalyst, which sends the FLP, FLP stands for fast link pulses, just to check whether the connected device has power or it requires powering up. Uh, why, you know, uh, it means like, uh, FLP why we send the FLP just to check uh, whether the connected device has power if not then you know the next process comes in so uh, what does FLP means you know if FLP comes back to switch port then switch will release the configured level power if not then it won't the next step uh, in boot up process is about taking or loading the firmware firmware is you know okay, you can say that it's an iso which already stored in its flash so every cisco ip phone has its own local firmware and its image stored in its flash as startup ip phone runs a boot up loader which loads the phone image so after getting the power uh, the next step is uh, the cisco ip phone load its firmware once the firmware is loaded, the next steps come in use about the VLAN. So there are two LANs. One is voice VLAN, known as VLAN, voice VLAN, and the other one is data LAN. So basically, it it uh, configured by the network team and also handled by the network 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 team. But still, you know, these are the steps uh, which uh, we should know, we must know. Uh, in boot up process of IP phone. So after getting the power and it's loading its firmware, phone send a CDP request message to the switch to get its voice VLAN. So what CDP means, CDP stands for Cisco Discovery Protocol. So there are two things, you know, when both the devices, that is uh, IP phone and then a switch, if both are from Cisco, then the protocol comes in use is CDP, that is Cisco Discovery Protocol. If any one of these two devices either phone or uh, switch if not from cisco then the protocol comes in use is lldp that is linked layer device protocol so if switch port is already configured with voice vlan the switch will inform the ip phone about vlan using cdp if both devices are of C cisco as i mentioned if not then lldp so this is the third one we can say that about the voice vlan and the next step is about taking its ip address so every phone uh, we are talking about cisco phone or avaya phone they runs over ip so every device needs its ip address to at which it will get registered so uh, to to take the ip address phone will you know send the request to dhcp server and about uh, this uh, step about taking the ip address you know uh, followed the process uh, that is known as dora process dora stands for d stands for discovery o stands for offer r stands for request and a stands for acknowledgement so if the phone uh, configured to the dhcp server then phone will send the request to dhcp uh, dhcp server to get the ip address dhcp server will provide all the available ip address to ip phone along with subnet mask 
second thing is default gateway and the IP address of TF TFTP server you heard about TFT that is trivial file transfer protocol serving using option 150 if not configured then all details we need to enter the manually uh, you have seen uh, that if these are the uh, these IPs provided by the TFTP server if not then we uh, always enter these IP address manually so after uh, you know getting the IP address uh, from DHCP server phone obtain uh, starts obtaining its configuration file uh, as I mentioned after getting the TFTP server IP address phone will reach to TFTP server to download its configuration file if phone send request IP phone send uh, request that is SEP MAC address dot CNF dot XML file if IP phone is configured in CUC then this file should be there in the CUCM TFTP server if not then phone will send XML default dot CNF dot XML so this is the uh, steps to uh, obtaining its configuration file from TFTP server after getting all the configuration files from that server the last step is about registering the device with CUCM after getting the list of all configuration files uh, from the group of CUCM uh, publisher and then followed by the subscriber subscribers IP phone will attempt to get registered with CUCM uh, from first CUCM if that fails then it will try to get registered with the next one the, uh, as I mentioned here with the first one if the list if it fails then with the next one in the list and so on upon successful registration CUCM will send the details to phone like DN that is directory number speed dials phone button templates and many more and for with uh, phone will show its status as registered so that status can be monitored from CUCM where we uh, register the phone uh, before this step uh, when you check the status it will show unknown state or in unregistered state but after taking all these things successfully when you check the status of C, uh, of that IP phone it will show us as registered so these are the points which comes in use in IP phone boot up process apart from that there are few key points uh, I mentioned here uh, which play a important role uh, whether you are taking uh, you know uh, when you are having an interview with anyone or uh, you uh, are means uh, these points you should uh, have in your mind so the first one is about phone gets the power uh, but that power uh, using which protocol so that is using you know uh, not protocol that is uh, that is poe uh, it will get the power by using poe that is power over ethernet uh, the next one is which protocol comes in use when phone takes the power then that is 802.3 af and which process come in use uh, in taking the IP address that is DORA process which I already mentioned and but uh, there are device port and DHCP port device port is of IP phone that is 68 and uh, the port of DHCP port is 67 TCP if the phone is fresh then IP phone will send the file in uh, in address like XML default .cnf .xml. if phone is old then phone will send as SEP followed by MAC address dot CNF dot XML so uh, this is all about Cisco IP phone boot up process and the key points if this video you think is informative to you then please like share and subscribe the channel voice card if you have any suggestions uh, please do share in the comment box or email us we will get back to you with the solutions Thank you.